<laughs> Hi there. So, <clears throat> welcome again to my YouTube channel. It's Simply Herself, your number one plug for anything product photography and photography. Yes, I got you. And before I get started on today's topic, on today's to do list, I just want to thank you for subscribing to my channel. For liking my videos for watching my videos and for leaving comments under each video that you watch thank you so much god bless you god bless you and i truly truly do appreciate it now what are we talking about today so today we're going to be talking about how to create a product podium shot graphically create a product podium shot yes i transformed this picture that you're seeing into this picture with my phone yes with my phone i took the shot on the phone i edited it on the phone and it looks superb now i'll be mentioning the things that you need i'll show you how i shot it how i edited it and um um this goes out to vendors with any kind of product that they have and they will want to display it on the product on the podium so it started from skincare vendors to drinks vendors even for shoes you can do that as well so um um let's talk about the things that you need to create this kind of shots yes what do you need to create this kind of shots first things first of course obviously you need a phone a very good phone a phone that is above 13 megapixels that would be great any phone brand it does not have to be an ios device now secondly you need a white backdrop yes a white backdrop um all of these items that i'm mentioning you can get them from cb props that is if you are in nigeria you can get them from cb props uh, on instagram she ships nationwide now um if you're looking to get these items and you're not in nigeria you can simply shop on amazon and it deliver it to you uh, i'll leave the links in the description below so that um, you can visit them and shop for them now first things first like i said you need a phone and secondly you need a white background a plain white background third you need a product of course a product to shoot with you would also need editing apps like Snapseed or PixArt and of course you would need uh, to use Google to find these images. Anyways, there are two ways to create these podium shots. The first way is through the use of Canva and the second way is through the use of Google. Yes, I'm going to show you both ways and how I edited it into those um, pictures now lastly you're going to need daylight like you're going to be taking your pictures outside this time around i just want to show you how to use natural light to achieve such perfect pictures so let's get right into it in practical firstly we are going to go outside and take the picture ourselves we take the picture of the product standing on the white background we shoot it we edit it properly and then we apply it onto a podium shot. Yes, graphically. I'm sure you're going to show you all the process, so stay tuned and keep watching. And if you like what you've been hearing so far, please give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment if you have any questions in mind. Uh, we're not done yet, we're still halfway through. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And I'm glad and I'm happy that you've chosen me to learn from in terms of product photography and videography all right let's get into it so here is where i'll be taking my shots from in front of my house and you can see the light is coming from outside i'll be using a natural light so i'm going to show you what are the tools i'll be needing to take this shot first of all i'll be needing a white backdrop a white pvc backdrop you can get that from simbi props and then i'll be needing a nano tape a very strong tape the scissors is to help cut the tape and then i'll be needing a bounce card what this bounce card does is 
it helps to reflect light it adds more light into the scene and makes the product that i'm shooting brighter yes it's very 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 necessary when you're taking shots like this in your corridor in front of your house um using natural light then the product that i'm going to be shooting a skincare product and a tea packaging product so let's get started so i'm setting up the backdrop trying to tape it on the wall so it falls down through the table the nano tape is what will help me hold the backdrop to the wall now i've realized that the nano tape holds stronger than any other tape so when you use the nano tape to hold the backdrop it holds for as long as you want it to hold yes it could go for hours and hours without your backdrop falling so um i'll tape this to create a perfect strip for my shoot so there you have it a perfect strip created that's what is called a strip when your backdrop falls from the wall to the background now i'll be placing my product on it but i'm going to move closer to where the light is coming from so that i get enough light into my scene yes so now it's time for us to add our bounce card because you know light is coming from one direction and we need another light on the other direction so the bounce card will serve as the second light source for uh, on the left hand side so you would notice that when i take away the bounce card the product becomes dull but when i add the bounce card back the product becomes well lit it becomes brighter so that's really important to have when you're taking shots so now it's time to take your shot but you need to be aware of your photo frame you need to make sure that you set your photo frame to three by four ratio it is very easy to find on android phones just like i've found mine but for ios devices the default the default photo settings is four by three or three by four rather um for some ios devices you can actually change it um there's an arrow at the bottom part of the screen if you just tap on it you're going to see the different sizes so now you just get started with taking pictures of the product you have to come lower move lower and take your shot do not bother at least if any parts of your bounce card or any parts of the wall outside your backdrop shows you know do you know the reason why it is because when we edit we are literally going to remove the entire background so any part of the bounce card or any part of the outside world showing in your photo does not really matter you can see the picture that i have taken it's just how it's gonna be but i'm gonna crop out everything except the product so i'm gonna try this with an, the second product which is the tea packaging and then when we're done we're going to go into the editing phase and do all the graphical works are you excited <laughs> so hi the videos or the photos we took i took outside this is it this is the first one and uh, this is the other one that i've chosen so what we are going to do first is that we would um we would edit this photo using the snap seed app we edit it in such a way that the product is sharper the picture is sharper it's brighter don't worry about all these distractions in the background we are definitely going to remove the background when we are placing the product on the podium but the first things first after taking picture on the white background is to edit it <clears throat> and we're going to use the snapseed app to edit when we edit it on snapseed we will move it onto the canva app canva to edit now remember i mentioned that there are two ways to do these things is that the use of canva or the use of google but the google option is also 
partly Canva, but we'll, we'll get we'll get it. So the first one, <clears throat> first step, first step is to edit the video, the photo. So I'm just going to head on to the cam, um, the Snapseed app, which is this one at the top here. You can see it, Snapseed. I open it. And then I tap on the plus sign to load in the picture that I shot. Look at it here. I load it in. And that's it. So first of all, I would like to crop this image. That's what I want to do. First, I'll crop it. So I'll go down here to tools. Underneath here, that says tools. I tap on tools. Then I select crop. So I tap on crop. There are different cropping options down here. So I'm just going to go with, uh, what's the name? The square. The square option. So this is the square option. And just bring it closer to the product so that everything is in line. And then I check mark. So I cropped it into the square format. So now I personally feel like the product was shot in an odd manner in such a way that the top part is bigger than the lower part so i'm just going to make it equal in such a way that the product stands straight can you see what i'm saying the top part seems bigger than the bottom part or it seems like it's it's falling forward so i'm just going to use perspective to adjust the, the 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 straightness of the product so i'll go to tools perspective and then i drag it upward so that it looks straight and i tap on the check mark so this was it before and this is it after so it looks straighter than how it was before so perspective helps you adjust um the perspective the look of things in the product so um i've adjusted the perspective i made it look straighter and longer and uh, i'm just gonna work on the brightness the sharpness um and the looks so with that being said i just go to tools with the first very first option here which says uh tune image so i tap on tune image if you drag up and down you're going to see different options so i'm just going to apply a little bit of everything except warmth and ambience those are the two no-go areas warmth and ambience so for the brightness i just drag it to the right i am on brightness see on brightness i drag my my hand to the left and the right you can see that the option is increasing or decreasing at the top here so brightness i'm just going to leave it at uh, maybe 20 and contrast i'm going to increase it to also a little bit so it depends on your your your, your satisfaction how you want the the numbers to be if you want contrast to be more you just have to be very careful when you're editing i go up to saturation i increase the saturation a bit um like i said skip ambience and warmth highlight i increase it a bit highlight makes my background whiter saturation makes it it, it, it brings more color into my photo contrast makes brighter parts brighter and darker parts darker and brightness of course increases the brightness of the picture so i've increased my highlights a bit to 30 shadows shadows also removes darkness in the picture so i'm just going to increase shadows a bit so you can see my, my my picture is getting brighter and you know sharper so that's just it and i tap on the check mark down here see what the look before and see the look now so it's brighter this time around so i move on to tools again just to make the picture sharper i go to details and then swipe up and down you're going to see uh, structure so if i slide to the right structure sharpens the product it brings out details of the product so i'm going i just increase it to 40 and sharpness says the same makes the picture sharper so that's a, that about that and that's all you need to do for the picture look at it before and look at it after serious improvement so what we'll do is to just save we tap on export and we'll click on save so it saves to the gallery in the folder called snapseed 
we've edited this one so now we're going to go into the canva app to place it on a podium i go to my canva app canva okay now i need i need to you to take note of some things <clears throat> now i need you to take note of some things you see this part of canva is a paid version like using podium shots is only one or two pictures that are free for podium shots but this part of canva is a free version it's a free version so you you need to pay monthly or some 12 dollars i think to get this feature but it's really good because they have loads of templates that you can use and it's quite very very flexible and easy to use it will even help you remove the background you don't have to stress about removing the background as long as you've edited it properly and nicely on the snapseed app so now <clears throat> What you do is you search you, at the top here, at the top here, you type in um, product podium. That's what you search for at the top here, product podium. You're going to see loads of samples of product podium uh, pictures. Loads of samples of product, product, product podium pictures. Different samples. And you can just select the one that you like. I'm, I'm personally interested in this one. So I tap on it, but mind you, be very careful when you are selecting what you intend to use because um, you have to take note that it has to be, um, let's say, for example, you want to post it on an Instagram page. And you know, Instagram page has their various sizes. Instagram stories have their various sizes. Um, however, if you pay the paid version of um, Canva, you can always resize it. To any size that you want on instagram so the size they give you here is a mixture of insta story size post story size so if you're in the paid version you can select any size that you like the design of and you can simply resize it to the size that you want i like this one so would you use this one yeah now the only thing you need to do is to edit that's all you need to do you edit the text you edit the text you edit the image you edit everything mind you you need to be connected to internet to use the canva app yes so first off let's change the picture let's tap on the image it says you see it's highlighted then it says down here replace so i can simply replace it so i just tap on replace and it loads up all the images in the gallery so this is my image that i just recently saved you can see it is brighter than the rest of them so i just tap on it and it will replace it with that you can see that so i will just increase the size I will just increase the size as I want. You can see. I increase the size as I want. You notice that it still maintains the background, right? So I'll just go to effect down here. I tap on effect. And then I say BG remover, background remover down here. So I just tap on it. Ensure you have a fast internet to do that. Boom! And then my background is taken out. You can see that. You can try to increase the size as you want. But you see, when you try to increase the sizes, the quality may shrink. So ensure that you edit it properly on the Snapseed app before you, um, you load it up into Canva. Edit it well in, such, in terms of the structure and the sharpness. So that when you're increasing the size, it doesn't um the quality doesn't reduce so you see the background is removed so i could just um leave the text as, as it is if i like what is written or i could just um edit it it says natural skin care for your skin new products i don't know you can change it you can tap on it 
and tap here edit and you can maybe um um body wash is the shower gel shower gel you just tap on it shower shower gel for your skin and that's it i guess <laughs> so i uh, you can just use this you know edit it as you want put the button change whatever it is written on the button you know and um this is what we have so this is one way this leaf is blocking I'm, i need to remove this leaf and just put it somewhere else okay all right so every single entity on this um um image is editable like you can move this leaf about you can edit this uh text this grass you can move it up down you can remove it if you want to remove it you know add the grass every single element is editable now that we have done this all we need to do is what save you can add your logo if you want to add your logo you know tap on the plus sign and it tells you um uploads you just tap on uploads uploads and then you add um this is what i have already added to the canva app so this is not my gallery if i want to go to my gallery i will click on upload media I tap on upload media at the top so i then see all my gallery i can navigate to my images and then i don't know let me look for my logo phone and you just drag and drop your logo somewhere at the corner and that's how you do it that this is how you do the podium shot for canva you can try another one let's let's save this one first you just click on the up arrow click on the up arrow and click download <clears throat> and yes 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 you just download it and it will take some time before it save and it downloads now um i've shown you this one but let me show you a proper podium uh podium uh, edit this is not necessary just cancel it it's already saved in your gallery so now let's go back home let's tap on the home button here let's go back home <clears throat> and look for a proper podium shot something like this as well you see you see this one you can tap on it <clears throat> it loads and all i need to do is just tap on the image and um, i replace it with another so see i just tap on the bottle and i click on replace and then it shows all my image got the one i saved already in my gallery you see you can see that so i just go to the one that i edited recently everything will show recently in your gallery so don't be bothered and so we place it properly down here you can increase the size if you want to by dragging it <coughs> bringing it down so if we tap on it we go to effect and we say background remover remember all these features are not possible if you are not using canva pro if you are not using the paid version of canva they are not possible so this is the product on the podium now this may not look realistic let me drag it down so it looks like it's seated this may not look realistic because in realistic editing you need to add some little shadows at the bottom so that it feels like it is actually sitting on that podium so we tap on the product i don't know i feel like increasing the size a bit okay let me move it and bring it down a bit okay nice so we tap on the product and we go to effect again tap on effect and we go down here we swipe to the right to shadows we click on shadows and then we use we click on this option drop we click on the drop shadow 
Now, this is not the kind of shadow I want. I just want shadow to show at the bottom of the bottle so it feels like it is sitting. So these three lines that are showing in the drop option that I selected, I'm going to tap on the three lines. And then I select my option because currently it is showing in the bottom right of the um, image. So but I want it to show on the bottom only. So I click and I select bottom only. So you can see the shadow is showing only at the bottom. Only. So it looks like it's seated. So all these options are to adjust the shadow color and all that. The transparency. I can reduce the transparency, the angles. I can reduce angles, offset, I can reduce, increase. So you just get to see the effect as you apply them and we're good to go. So I'm done with this, so I just close it. And that's how you do the podium edits. You can edit your text as you want. Now this is one way using Canva. What, let me talk about saving again. If you want to save, just click on this part. Choose the right brightness serum. Let me just edit this one. Edit. Choose the right um, brightening shower gel. Yeah, that's what I'm going to put. And then I'll tap on the upload option. I say download and I proceed. Yes, no problem. Save. So I'm downloading. It's downloading and it will download to my folder. Now, the second way of doing this is to go on Google to look for a podium image. A podium image that is free to download. So let's go open our browser. Go on google.com. Yes, this is Google. So I'm just going to search podium for product display hd it gives you pictures that are of high quality so that when you save them they do not uh, look uh, shrinked so podium for display hd that's what you search for and i'm going to go to the images section of the google so we are seeing all sorts of um, podium images here on google I would like us for, for us to edit the other products that I shot, which is the T product. So I'll just click on this. You can see the image, it says it is licensable. See, it's licensable, so I wouldn't want to touch that. So let me just go to this one. It's free to download, so I just, oh, there's a watermark on it. Oh, we have a long way to go. So we have to keep searching for product. For images without the watermark okay this one looks good i like this one so i'm just gonna press down on it to download the image so i download it good now that we've downloaded it let's go to snapseed to edit the picture the second product that i shot i tap on the plus sign this is the product this is the product so like i said we first of all crop crop it use the square option crop closer and like this and check mark that's it so we go to tune image and then we start editing the applying all these edits except ambience and warmth so I increase the brightness the contrast saturation highlights you can see shadows and then I check mark it looking better than how it was before tools I go to details <clears throat> structure I increase structure sharpness I increase sharpness and I tap on the check mark everything is looking good do not worry about the background because you are eventually going to remove the background now tap on export down here and click on save it is save there is no need to use perspective in this one because everything is looking fine i think so we go to what uh, we go to canva remember we downloaded the podium shot from google we've edited our shot and sound now we go to canva 
to combine both of them together. But before we do that, this example I'm giving is the fact that you are not using Canva Pro. That means Canva will not be able to remove its background for you. So you have to find a way to remove the background of the picture, of the product picture, before you now combine the, uh, the uh, image you downloaded from Google and the product picture together. So to remove the background of the product picture, we will need to go to a website called remove.bg. Remove.bg. It's here. And then I go remove.bg. This is it. So I just click on upload image. Allow. This is the product picture that I just edited. Let me click on browse. I go to Snapseed, Snapseed folder. I'm going to see Snapseed. Okay. This is the picture that I just edited. Check. So it will be removing the background for you. The background has been removed. However, the bad side to this is it's also a paid website, but there is the free option whereby it will remove the background for you, but then give you a low quality product picture. That's what it will do. You download it. Low quality product picture. Once it's downloaded, you then go to Canva. You've removed the background. You go to Canva. Let's go to the home page. So we're going to start on a blank page on canva designing from scratch so we go home we say um we tap on the upload media again to upload the product picture we remove the background on background. now it is time for us to combine both of them together inside canva for free since we are using canva free option we are not using the paid option so we just select the podium first increase the size so that to fill up our space let's increase the size well uh-huh so it has filled up our space now we also need to add the product picture we tapped on the plus sign add the product picture it is loading now we've added it so i can increase the size as i want i can twist it if it's not standing straight twist it well increase the size and drop it on the podium like this you can see so the picture is not quite sharp because i removed the background on that website and it gave me a, a, a low quality that is why it is very 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 important that when you're editing on snapseed just before you remove the background, you edit it well that the picture will be very sharp. In the sharpening option, you increase the sharpen well. The structure, you increase the structure well. So when remove.bg removes the background, it will not reduce the quality drastically. So now, this is what we have. This is what we are able to create. Um, we cannot add shadows because shadows is a paid option. I'm not sure if shadows is a paid option because I'm currently using a paid option of Canva. So I don't know if it's free or not. But let me try to add shadows using my paid option. So I select and I choose bottom. And I reduce the transparency, the angle. Yep. So done so that's how we do it adding um product to podium that's how we do it so ah, we move forward to the next it must be a long tutorial yes i know but um, it's definitely worth it so uh we've covered up the two ways to do this using canva pro version Canva will remove the background for you. Canva will give you a podium, you know, everything. 
all in one package on Canva. But if you're not using Canva paid pro version, you have to go to Google to download the podium picture, then go to another website to remove the background of the picture, and then combine both of them in the Canva app. So that's how it works. And um, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions, I'm happy to help. And uh, give this video a like if you do like this video. And um, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you very much. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Did you learn something new from all that I have shown? I'm sure after watching the video, you'll be able to create your own podium shot in just a snap. Yes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you like this video, if you like what you watch, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss all the next videos that I will be posting. I, I challenge you to create your own podium shots. When you do, tag me on Instagram. Tag me at CB Props, CB underscore props. Tag me on Instagram and I would love to see your shot and give you feedback on what I think. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.